John, in that, that senior analyst role, what, so what yeah. was the day-to-day -day responsibility yeah. of that? How much integration did you have? With yeah, great team? question. So obviously I've been on offense my whole career, um, and this was a chance to do something different. And, you know, when you're on offense, obviously you study defenses when you game plan, uh, but there's so many intricacies that go into it when you're coaching on that side of the ball or that position. And so uh, to be able to be in that room with, with Joe B and the overview uh, of the defense, uh, for me, you know, hopefully they took something from it. But for me, I got to see a whole different perspective of football. Uh, so when we game plan, when we attack coverages, fronts, what are the rules, those types of things, I mean, it was, a, it was an unbelievable insight to, uh, to that side of the football, which is critical, you know, uh, to be an offensive coach and game plan. Uh, in terms of role, uh, hopefully, you know, Joe kind of got from it what I did, but the other perspective, right? Um, here's something that the offense is doing, right? Uh, so when you watch film, sometimes you see things and, okay, well, why are they doing this? Why is this showing up? Why are they running this concept? Well, here's why, because this is a good, you know, whatever, a coverage beater. Or they're running this because of this front. So uh, it was really, you know, here's how this side sees it, and this is the lens. Uh, so that was the big picture, you know, of it, and then, uh, and it was great. I, I really enjoyed it. What's it mean to have Mercedes back with that wealth of experience and role model? Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to replace experience, right? Um, phenomenal guy, you know, obviously getting to know him last year a little bit and uh, be, be totally different this year, but the experience, uh, the leadership, I mean, it just oozes out of him, right? I mean, it's hard to uh, to not go by him and just feel his energy, feel his presence. So a guy that's played that much football, who has that much experience, one for himself, right, when he's on the field, but the other part is to pass that along to the younger guys, and he does a great job of that. So it's, uh, you know, obviously we're extremely glad we got we have him. Great guy, great player. Love his experience. He's not older than that, is he? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, maybe around the same. Maybe around the same. He moves much better, much better player, but around the same. How is Tony coming along in his recovery, and just what does it mean to him? Yeah, him? yeah. Um, you know, obviously, Bobby's an extremely, extremely hard worker, um, and that's that's half the battle with, with rehab stuff. And so I know he's attacking it. Uh, you know, what that means down the road, you know, we'll see. But uh, I know he's attacking it, and he's looking forward to when he can get back. Was the call from uh, Coach LaFleur very unexpected to, you know, to bring you over here? Um, well, you know, last year uh, coming in, uh, you know, our, our paths have crossed a little bit uh, prior to. Um, so I don't know if unexpected, but very appreciative. Uh, that's probably a better word. Um, so coming in last year and then being in the building, being around the guys, uh, you know, hopefully that's obviously the goal. Uh, and, and things worked out. So really appreciative of the organization, of Matt. Uh, it's a phenomenal place to be and, and excited for this year. John, how do you get guys to Guara, Davis, Daphne, yeah. who have contributed some sure. to be able to take that lead? Well, uh, a big part, like for those guys, okay, we're talking about experience. For those guys, a lot of times this practice becomes their experience. And for them, as much film as they can watch, uh, another year in the same system, helps uh, fresh eyes for me, for them, right, is, is part of it. And for those guys, the biggest thing when talent is somewhat equal, when you know what to do, they understand the system, is just improving in technique, right? And how much can they master the technique? And if you can do that and when you do that, to me, that's when you really start to take off. So those guys are eager, they're hungry, they're smart, they're talented and they're just going to continue to get better. And a lot of that starts an in individual and practice and training and training camp and preseason games. And just the more they can play, you know, and, and gain that experience, because uh, that's really, you know, how you learn, right? You have to, you have to do it uh, to learn. So the more they do it, the better they're going to get.